Well, uh, good afternoon to you. Uh, thank you for joining me uh, again this afternoon as we uh, have um, another Advent devotional. Today's is called A Shoot Will Come From the Stump of Jesse, and that's based on Isaiah chapter 11. Uh, before we go on, though, uh, I just want to thank you for those, those who know I uh, had an injection today in my shoulder because I have a frozen shoulder, uh, which has been extremely painful for the last 11 weeks. Um, hopefully that this uh, this 24 hours after which I will, shouldn't have any more pain. Uh, and then I will have a second injection in January, which will uh, free up the shoulder somewhat, uh, maybe completely, maybe partially, we'll see. Um, so I just want to thank you for uh, bearing me in mind. But hopefully I should be pain-free after today. Um, so, thank you. Right, so let's get on, shall we, with the reading for today. Uh, so as you see, it's, it's Isaiah 11, 1 to 10, and I will read that. There shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse, and a branch from his roots shall bear fruit. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide disputes by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt of his waist, and faithfulness the belt of his loins. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the young goat, and the calf and the lion and the fattened calf together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the fox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the cobra, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the adder's den. They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. In that day the root of Jesse, who shall stand as a signal for the peoples, of him shall the nations inquire, and his resting place shall be glorious. So this prophecy, uh, like many um, we find in the Old Testament, they cover both Advents. His first um, Advent is his birth in Bethlehem, and in his second when he will return again. And the first part being fulfilled, because we can look back on that one, gives us hope for the second part when we look forward, and it will be just as literal. And in verse 1, Isaiah speaks of a shoot from the stump of Jesse, and indeed, the lineage of kings from David would seem to come to an end during the Babylonian exile. Of course, this was unbeknown to Isaiah at the time of writing. And uh, so the, the tree was cut down, there was a stump left. Uh, but such is the mercy of God that a shoot would rise up out of the stump. It wouldn't remain dead. And that would be none other than Jesus himself, who will be the king who shall reign forever. And Jesus would be a king like no other who would reign with equity and justice and righteousness and will not oppress like as the kings did of those times. And a time is coming when the Prince of Peace will establish his kingdom. And clearly here in verses 6 onwards in Isaiah chapter 11, uh, it, is, it is talking of an earthly kingdom. And so some people have ever, ever struggled with that. Uh, will there be an earthly kingdom? Well, it would appear so, uh, at least for a period of time. Um, and it says there that the knowledge of the Lord shall be known as much as the waters cover the ocean floor. And when Jesus sits on the throne as uh, the shoot out of the rump, root and stump of Jesse, it will be a signal to all the nations, to all the peoples to come to him, to inquire of him. Uh, now, Isaiah's prophecy is a fulfilled and not yet. Jesus has come and he will come again. It's as certain as there is an earth and a sun. And it's to him then we should bow down. Um, uh, we should come and worship. 
he was foretold long before he came and we know he will come again and we can only marvel at uh, the fact that we've been told these things so let's hear the words of a modern carol by Stuart Townend and of course due to copyright I'm unable to show the words to you but you can easily find it on Stuart Townend's own website uh, or on YouTube or various other places I'm sure Vibo uh, and others uh, you'll be able to find them uh, so this is what uh, what uh, the carol says joy has dawned upon the world promised from creation God's salvation now unfurled hope for every nation not with fanfares from above not with scenes of glory but with a humble gift of love jesus born of mary sounds of wonder fill the sky with the songs of angels as the mighty prince of life shelters in a stable hands that set each star in, in place shaped the earth in darkness cling now to a mother's breast vulnerable and helpless shepherds bow before the lamb gazing at the glory gifts of men from distant lands prophesy the story gold a king is born today incense god is with us myrrh his death will make a way and by his blood he'll win us son of adam son of heaven given as a ransom reconciling god and man Christ, our mighty champion. What a saviour, what a friend, what a glorious mystery. Once a babe in Bethlehem, now the Lord of history. I hope that uh, you will have a blessed day, especially in the time leading up to Christmas, and be thankful for uh, the life that we have to live for his honour. God bless, and see you tomorrow.